Hello everybody! Hope everybody's doing fine this wonderful day. Today we are going to do a quick sketch of a mug. So let's do a vertical line like so, very very light. And then let's do that a really squashed oval we'll just keep going like this without moving the finger and you will get a squashed oval nice and easy so let's go down on either side so as you notice I'm just going like this and like that Just that much is fine and then another arc and let's give it a base as well and then a mug is supposed to have handles so for convenience sake if you wish you could either show it behind that edge or I think in my opinion you should do that it just looks a little more realistic so now that you have that down you're going to quickly put in some inks so if there's a let's say it's resting on a flat surface and let's say that there's a light source coming from that side so most definitely on this side so I'm going to add in just cross hatch cross hatch is essentially best done along the lines of the thing that you're that you're trying to draw so essentially it would be this but artists also go like that in between so that they just you know have that little effect now if you smudge this, you will see that you have the desirable effect more or less. And this edge should actually be a little bit darker because the light is swallowed up here on that end. Now we come to this end and now since this is a round surface again, we have to realize that there will be a little bit of light source here on the edge. This will be in the direct source of light, but this curvature around here is going to contain the shadows that we are looking to put in. So when you're doing this, try to curve the crosshatch right around. And on this one, try to have it a little different because the size and the curvature might be a little different to the main body. Another way of doing this is if you go straight down now do not do both you don't need to do that that's going to look weird but that is another way of doing this so vertical crosshatch can also work along a cylindrical surface and make sure that you fade out the cross hatch in either way if you're doing that or doing the other one if it is this one then you have to fade out a little bit it's just like here but since they are straight it can pass off as something else and which is just a simple cross hatch and then just go in a little darker on this area go in a little darker around here a little darker around here around there and then of course the all important thing that there is depending on how strong the light source is you put in a bit of cross hatch 
right there. Now, if I intensify this shadow a little bit, I just grabbed a thicker pencil. You could just go with a reinforced stroke or add some pressure. And you'll see that it'll like start coming together quite nicely. Now if I smudge this, go all the way here. You have a fairly acceptable mug with that light source coming from this side. So that's a quick exercise in drawing a quick mug in a light source using either vertical or horizontal crosshatch or even both. And you could just keep on adding the details even on top of this to make it stand out better. So thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe and keep in touch. Let us have your comments. We would love hearing from you. Have yourself a wonderful day.